Hey guys, today we're going to talk about some critical elements that you need to do to get your business started. Today I was on a phone call with someone that was going into one of my higher end programs. And this is something that seems to be a reoccurring theme that people want to start a business. They have no money. They have no time. And I consistently see this because um, one of the things that you have to do, because in one of my programs, there's a lot of front work that has to be done before you get into the finer details. And this hands down is the reason that you will be successful if you do this finer work. And this is the point that I want to make up. I know that this is the internet. I know that you see all of these programs where people are making 50 and a hundred thousand dollars a month and it doesn't look like they're working that hard. I want to tell you something. These people are working very, very hard. And for you to build a business, you got to do the work. Now let's talk about what is that work? And we will go back in time and I will talk about my journey of going from being a telesales representative to being a full time sales commission person. So first thing I had to learn was and my company provided the majority of my leads to me. And then I went out and I got some more leads because number one, I had to learn how to get leads. Number two, I had to learn how to call leads. Number three, I had to learn how to set appointments. Number four, I had to learn how to go on appointments. Number five, I needed to learn how to close the sale. Number six, I needed to learn how to ask for that deposit check. So this is doing the work and doing the work is not sexy. It's not sexy. It's often thankless is often, Oh, I gotta do this again. Uh, like I give you an example. You want to start a business. You want to set up a holding company, an operating company. You want to get yourself some business credit. You want to learn how to run a business. You want to start your first online business. If you want to do that and congratulations to you, for being a person that wants more out of life, for being that person that's ready to sit down, do the work so your future can be brighter. I got some for you. Go below and enter into the Corporate Citizen Playbook where we teach you all of that plus a lot more because you are not a normal, regular person. You want more out of life. You wanna do more, you wanna be more, you wanna have more, and congratulations to you. So this link is below, go ahead and check out this video, and then go ahead and enroll in the Corporate Citizen Playbook where I teach you some things that you cannot Google. Can't Google it, can't Google it at all. One of the things that I didn't love to do this, didn't love it at all, but doing this activity brought in sales. And this was writing Craigslist ads. I used to, like, I literally figured out a way to put out 100 Craigslist ads Monday through Friday, and sometimes I would do it Saturday and Sunday. And it took me months to figure this out because I had to, number one, let's talk about the primary motive, Craigslist. Craigslist didn't really want you pimping out their, their website the way that I was. So I had not one, not two, not three, not four, but I had five Craigslist ads accounts because each account will let me post a max of 20 ads per account. So this is how I got to 100. Sometimes I got to more than 100. So number one, I had to go ahead and get the accounts. And even before getting the accounts, I had to understand what was going on with Craigslist. There were a bunch of people who were upset, upset because I was posting so much because I had developed a certain flavor. I had deserved a certain representation 
and people did not like the fact that I was posting so much because here's the thing, it doesn't work today, but back in the day, and I will tell you my strategy because this is something that I learned from doing. I would wait to post my Craigslist ads. Now, why would I wait to post my Craigslist ads? It didn't make sense to post Craigslist ads at six o'clock in the morning, seven a.m., eight a.m. It made no sense because your ads would get buried. So what I would do is I would wait to around three o'clock and then I would literally flood Craigslist with a hundred ads. And in some sections, I would literally own the page for two to three hours. And from this I made a lot of sales because once again, it didn't make sense to just post Craigslist ads any old time. So I learned this from posting Craigslist ads. And this is one of the things that I understand. Uh, many of you are ready for your success. You're ready to make your money. You're ready to do all of these things. I get that, but you cannot get around this method of work. And the work is like, oh man, there's so many things I have to think back to that I had to work. Like going from being a telesales person to actually being a hundred percent commission salesperson was a lot of work. It was a ton of work. I had to go through a lot of changes because let's go ahead and just kind of talk through the process. When I got the job at Rent-A-Crate, I didn't know how to make phone calls. Didn't know how to do it. I felt I could do it, but I didn't know how to do it. So my first two weeks were a big struggle. And then I ordered a book about cold calling, which dramatically changed my results. I went from being on the phone all day to get no appointments to booking three to four appointments per day because one, I was on the phone. Two, I read the book. Three, I came to work the next day and I deployed the methodologies of the book into real phone calls. For some reason, there's a lot of people who feel that they can be successful without the work and without doing the work. Uh, like I had uh, someone said, you know, cause you got money, you should hire someone to do that. Here's the tricky part about hiring people to do something. If you don't know how to do the task, it makes it really hard for you to hire someone capable and competent to do the task. I'll give you an example. I put out an ad for a salesperson and I had all of these people who had no sales experience whatsoever in their resume applying for the sales job. Now, knowing what I went through to become a salesperson, the hundreds, maybe thousands of phone calls, the appointments, the talking to people, the developing of relationships, it was a lot of work, it was a lot of work. And when I see someone, and because I went through the process of becoming a salesperson. I went through the process. So when I see someone's resume that they're applying for a sales job and there's no sales experience, let me tell you what's gonna happen. Let's say if I was foolish enough to hire these people, they're gonna run into what I call the roadblock. The roadblock is, and this happens to every salesperson, you don't learn to like rejection. I'm not gonna go that far, but you get to the point where rejection doesn't dampen your enthusiasm. You can make 10 phone calls in a row and nine people are rude or unhelpful. You have the same energy and enthusiasm for each call because that's what's gonna get you the sale. And when you take someone who has no sales experience, none, the chances of them are quitting is about 90%, 95%. So that's one of the reasons, like uh, when I was looking for a salesperson and I had all of these people, cause I had put the salary, that was a mistake, cause they wanted that salary, but they didn't have the skills. And this is one of the things that I consistently see because with my higher level program, I have a lot of people who want to be part of it, but they are in a position where they cannot do the work. And for you to be successful in this program, you have to do the work. You have to put the things out there. 
And with anything, any business, any uh, sell, you have to do the work, you have to do that. And this is going to be the difference between some success to no success. I, like I said, uh, learning how to do sales, learning how to run Craigslist ads. This recall, this, in, this had me actually running Craigslist ads and learning as I ran the Craigslist ads. I would think 100 ads a day, 700 a week, uh, 2,800 a month, which in 10 months is 20,000. So I could safely say that I probably run 150,000 face Craigslist ads. And through all of that work and running stuff, I got great feedback. I got knowledge. This works. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. And so many people just don't want to go through the work. And the work is the thing that's going to liberate you. The work is the thing that's going to set you apart because uh, for my, my higher tier program, which requires a phone call, because essentially uh, I'm becoming very comfortable with the new process because I can start to identify if people will be successful in this program or not very, very early based upon their habits. Because here's the thing, I'm really big on business credit. And this is one of the things that I push to my students because number one, you want to have great personal credit. You want to be 750 or above on all three credit bureaus. And that's just for you to go out and get business credit. I personally do not use my personal credit cards. I may use it here and there on something like maybe a subscription, something that I forgot to transfer, but my personal credit card bill doesn't go past a hundred bucks per month. Whereas my business credit cards, sometimes those suckers would be 20, 30, 40, 50,000. Everything goes on my business credit cards. So this preserves my personal credit. Um, and this is something else too, when your credit score is high and you get multiple hits, your credit score really doesn't change that much. Uh, recently I applied for some stuff and I got like two hits. My credit score did not change at all. So, and how did I learn this? Doing the work, doing the work. And you must go through the process because uh, essentially I see a lot of stuff on YouTube about business credit that I know from watching the video that it's false. This stuff in that video will not work because how do I know this? Because I do the work. I'm a technician. I'm out here doing the work, getting business credit, setting these things up, doing these things because I do the work. And if you want to shy away from the work, let me go ahead and tell you what's going to happen. Uh, you will not be successful because when you look at economic America, the numbers, 85% of America is two paychecks away from other disaster. About 80, 80, 85%, maybe let's say six paychecks away from other disaster. And what we have is the top 10%. And this is where I'm trying to get you. I'm trying to get you into that top 10% because if you're in the top 10%, it's much easier to go from the top 10% into that 1%. But if you're all the way down at the bottom, that's a long journey for you to get in that 1%. So my goal is to get you to that top 10%, actually get you to 250,000, that puts you in that top 5%. Get you to that top 5% and then teach you the methodologies, the strategies, and the techniques to get into that 1%. And it all takes work. You got to do the work. And this is one of the biggest issues that I've had. I get people who don't want to go ahead and do the work for some reason. They just don't want to do the work. And I can tell you, it's not magic. It's not going to magically appear. Uh, one of the things that I learned from running all of these Craigslist ads, and I actually have a book on Amazon called Pimping Craigslist for Fun and Profit which came about all of that work, all of that effort, all of those things I was doing to sell the stuff in my warehouse. 
You cannot get away from the work. And if you want to be in that top 10%, and let's go ahead and look at the top 10%. Who is this? It's our attorneys, it's our doctors, it's our data scientists. These are the people who go to college for the hard degrees. And when they go ahead and graduate and they enter, I actually know someone whose son went to Georgia Tech, got a computer science degree, left college, and instantly started working for Apple making 200K. Dude's 21 years old. And his future is just gonna get brighter and brighter and brighter. See, you gotta prepare yourself. You gotta do the work. You gotta set yourself up. And let's talk about the money. You don't need millions and millions of dollars. Even though I had $300,000 in the bank, uh, the most that I've ever spent, and that was the storage auction business, was about 30,000. And that's because I didn't know what I was doing. But typically, you're gonna need about 10K, $10,000 to get things started. And more importantly, you're gonna need a good work effort. Number one, I don't advise you to quit your job to start your business. Number two, I advise you to keep your job, manage your money correctly, and then in the afternoons when you get off, this is the time that you will work on your business. This is the time that you will do the things that you need to do to elevate yourself, to relieve yourself of working a regular job by doing the hard work, the necessary work, the things that you need to do where you can become successful in your chosen endeavor. Because this is one of the things that I, I really don't see a lot of conversations about this. Everyone is looking for something that they can flip with their finger, work 10 hours a week, and make three times the money that they were making from their full-time job working part-time. And it's just not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. So hopefully you heard me. You have to do the work. And also with my training, going down to the Corporate Citizen Playbook. The training is step-by-step. Step. Number one, establish your holding company. Number two, establish your operating companies. Number three, start working on business credit. Number four, start your operating company. And start making money, step-by-step-by-step. By step by step. And even with that, I have people who don't, like it's gotten way better than it used to be. But people just don't want to set up the holding companies. They don't want to set up the operating companies. And I'm just like, what are you doing? You're wasting time. Time is critical. You can't replace lost time. And I'm telling you, it's because I'm sending out a message today. And like I said, things have gotten way better, much, much better. Because essentially, we live in the United States of America, which is a paperwork society. If you understand that and you govern yourself by the paperwork, you will be fine. So if you want to go ahead and start doing the work, go below, get into the corporate citizen playbook or teach us up a holding company, teach us up an operating company, teach us get business credit, teach you how to get that first operating company up and running and making money. Links below. So with that, my name is Glenn Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.